Hi. Welcome back. This is part 2 of the series. In this video, we're gonna sketch cartoon character and get to know the pencil tool and node tool for creating vector art. Go through both the steps and how to actually work with them together. From now on, when I say vector, I mean vector studio, pixel mean pixel studio. You can switch between them anytime. Using the paintbrush tool. If don't see the same icon like mine, just switch to pixel studio and pick the paintbrush tool. Set the style to pencil and start sketching. Working in Pixel Studio is basically the same as drawing in Photoshop or Procreate, it works the same way. Once you start drawing, Affinity will automatically create a new pixel layer for you when you draw. If you want to add a layer, just go to the icons at the bottom of the layer panel. I'll walk you through the tools, essential shortcuts, and how to make edits while we work. We'll start with an overview so you can start drawing right away, even if it's your first time trying it. Once you're done with the bear, go back to Vector Studio. Alright, let's try creating some line art using the pencil tool in Vector. Vector Studio has a few tools for drawing line art like Pen Tool, Brush Path Tool, and Pencil Tool. Today let's start with the pencil tool. First, open the bear image, lower its opacity a bit so you can see it. Create a new container layer. We'll put all the line art you draw into this layer. A pencil line in vector is made of curves and nodes. When you draw, it automatically creates a new layer. Don't worry if it's not in the same layer, just draw normally like you would in any other program. The pencil tool works with node tool for editing strokes. Or use another trick by hold control key instead of switching to the node tool. Hold Control you can adjust lines, move nodes, handles, and select strokes without switching between pencil and node tool. This saves time. Remember the workflow. Draw, hold Control to adjust, then continue drawing. That's it. Keep going like this until it's done. Make the strokes touch each other as much as possible, with no gaps, good for coloring. The principle is the same as drawing in any regular drawing program. The only difference is switching from raster to vector mode to make vector art. Some essential shortcuts while drawing like Ctrl-0 zoom to fit, Ctrl-J duplicate, Ctrl-G group, and of course, right-clicking will open a context menu with available commands. Okay, when you finish drawing, you'll see a lot of stroke layers. Select them all and press Ctrl plus G to group them. Grouping makes it easier to select. Rename it to Ink. Grouping lets you move, resize, and edit multiple objects together, keeping everything organized and saving time. Try scaling the shape. You'll see the stroke width changes because scale with object in the stroke panel wasn't checked. Go ahead and check it. Okay. Right now, Affinity doesn't have a vector eraser tool. Remove overlapping or intersecting lines using the Shape Builder tool. Set the action to delete. Each tool has some interesting options, so we'll learn them gradually. And lines that don't overlap. Use the knife tool to cut and delete them. Select a stroke, cut and delete. Or another method use the node tool, add a node, and hold control to delete the stroke between two points. Now we can move on to coloring. Alright, I think that covers the basics of using the pencil tool for drawing. For now, you can experiment and try them out. It's free forever, so it's a great deal. You get Vector Studio like Illustrator, Pixel Studio like Photoshop all in one app. Make sure to follow so you won't miss part 3, coloring. Thanks for watching.